Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you're new here, my name's Caitlin, I'm 23 from Melbourne. I read a lot of YA and romance, film a lot of videos about both, so if that sounds like it's your cup of tea, feel free to stick around. I also own my own online romance bookstore called A Novel Addiction, which is kind of the primary focus for this video. So you can probably tell that I'm not really filming in my usual location. I'm actually in front of my desk, which is where all of the business stuff happens. It's it's a mess. It really is. <laughs> the main reason that I'm in here is that this is where I used to take all of the product images for my photos when I was still trying to be creative, try to be a little bit bookstagram, Pinterest aesthetic, and just try to make them look cool. I'm actually filming this on my business's official like first birthday, so you guys will be seeing this next week, so it'll have been a week since then. There have been a lot of changes to my business over this past year, and one of them was that I got lazy and I stopped taking those creative photos and I'm kind of regretting it because now my Instagram feed looks like absolute trash and I'm trying to fix it, hence this video. I have been accumulating a bunch of photos on Pinterest that I want to try to replicate and put my own little spin on and just have a little bit of fun and try to fall in love again with actually taking those product pictures. I did actually go shopping yesterday to try to find some more props that I can use for my photos. So I'll pop a little bit of the footage in here. It's probably gonna be shit quality, but enjoy. So I'll do a little bit of a haul of what I ended up getting because I'm sure you saw that I was holding a bunch of flowers in that footage. The first thing that I ended up getting was this little woven tray. I think this was like 15 bucks, which honestly, I'm not mad about it because when I'm not using it to take photos, I literally will be using it just around the house. I just love the texture and I think it could be really cute to like have a book in there with some other little props and take the photo. I'm excited. And of course, everything else that I got was floral. <laughs> Did you see that just fly? Oh my gosh. The first one that I got and that is actually the messiest, like I still need to vacuum my car after driving this home, is this little thing. It's gorgeous, do not get me wrong, but the amount of fluff it is leaving absolutely everywhere makes me not really want to use it. We've also got these, the cute little babies. These ones look like they'd be super fluffy, but surprisingly not. And then the next three are all the exact same type of flower, just in different colors. <laughs> I picked up the white ones and like I used to work at Spotlight and I feel like Spotlight's fake flowers can be fairly expensive sometimes. People would come up to the counter and they would be paying like, I don't even know, just so much money for flowers. I remember looking at it and thinking, oh my God, that's so expensive. And they were not surprised in the slightest. But when I picked these up and saw that these were $7, I was like, I feel like that's really, really good pricing for fake flowers. So of course I had to get the others as well. And I figure they don't need to stay on this stem either. I can like trim them and kind of mix up the colors as well if I want, but we'll see how we go. As for things that I already have, booktube don't kill me. Um, I do have all these torn up pages from a book that I bought from the op shop. I made sure that I got a book that was in a different language because I feel like personally, whenever I see a book that has pages or open books in the background, all I'm doing, I'm not focusing on the book that's in the photo. I'm trying to read the page in the background and figure out what book they were using. So I think this is in Italian. Um, and I just ripped a bunch of pages out and I used them in the background. The other thing that I have tons of is candles. I have so many candles, some of them burnt, some not. So let's pick the first one that I want to try to recreate. I'm kind of getting nervous now. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't actually know if I can recreate that. <laughs> I'll put the photo up here that I'm going to try to replicate. So they do have a placemat in the background, but I'm thinking we can just use the basket for that. They have some fake flowers, a coffee cup that I don't drink coffee and I don't really want to waste it. So I'm probably just going to put Coke in it instead pair of glasses and the book that we want to be showcasing. 
So let's give this a go. So it looks like in the back, they've got a white sheet or something. I can't be bothered grabbing one. So I just have a Euro pillowcase and I hope that that'll do the trick. So they had, oh, I better cut the price tags off. I feel like this is an absolute horrible angle and we'll try to adjust. Okay, so you can't really see me, but you can see what I'm doing and I'll take that. So we had the basket here. We had some flowers. I cannot believe I'm using a can of Pepsi for this, but at the same time, I can. Holy shit, this is a big mug. So for this photo, I'm using King of Immortal Teeth by Ben Alderson. We'll pop my coffee. And I don't really have room for the glasses, but we'll see if it looks all right without it. Yes, I am filming on a proper camera and taking photos on my phone, but anyway. I'll edit those and we'll see how we go. I'm gonna have a drink of this Coke. I'm gonna duck low so that you can see me. I feel like this is where the fun part of taking photos like this comes in because yes, this is the basic idea that we're starting with, but there are so many ways that we can adapt this and take even more photos. The second one that I'm gonna be replicating though is this one here. So we have another white sheet in the background. I'm gonna be sticking with my pillowcase. They're using the score to demonstrate, but we're gonna be using the Never King by Nikki St. Crow. This is another one that was launched with the February release. And they also have two paperbacks in the background that they're using as props. Now, I know that I literally just said that I try to use pages from another language, but these ones here, so Codename Verity, they just, they flop so easily. So I think I'm gonna be using them in the background today. And I can have a little bit of fun with the flowers and see what works. So they kind of like rumpled it a little bit. I just cracked the spine and I did it on purpose. Oh God, who am I? such an awkward angle and I'm squatting but we're gonna go with it the next one that I'm going to be trying to replicate is this one just here so again they have the two paperbacks oh it actually looks like they have more than two I might have to go grab another one they have the coffee I'm gonna be using my coke they have a candle and oh my god I was wondering <laughs> I was like where did that meow come from gosh I did not want to hold that one for too long just in case I cracked the spine because this is not my spine to crack okay I had to get changed for this next one so I'm now in some jeans because that's what the person in the photo was wearing and also because I haven't shaved my legs so this is the one that we're trying to replicate so I do have everything that we can use let's just see how we go <laughs> I took photos similar to this when I still was using my bookstagram account but it never occurred to me to do the same thing with my business really cute oh my gosh okay so the last one that I'm gonna be replicating is this one just here and they have a lot of props in this one they've got the candle the coffee the glasses the books it also looks like they have maybe like a chopping board or some kind of wooden surface so for that one I have grabbed my like laptop stand <laughs> and they've also got a couple of jumpers by the looks of it so I've grabbed a jumper and a cardigan let's see how we go I've made a little 
little bit of a mess. But that video was actually so much fun to film. I kind of forgot how much I enjoyed the process of actually taking those photos. You guys probably won't see because I did turn off the camera at some points, but after I had taken the replicated photos, I went through, kind of tweaked a little bit, had my fun with it, and was just taking photos of the other books on my shelves that I want to retake their photos because I'm not happy with how they originally turned out. But anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at the final products. So at the point of filming this, I haven't actually started editing any of these photos, so I'm just kind of hoping that they turn out okay. <laughs> For filming's sake, I'm going to pretend that I already know what they look like. So this is the first one that we were replicating. And this is the final product. The second photo that we were replicating was this one. And this is what we ended up with. This is the third one. And the final. Number four. And the one that we ended up with. And last but not least, number five and our final rendition. I know that this video was a little bit different than what I normally put out there, but I honestly had so much fun filming it and I kind of can't wait to see what the end products look like. I'm so excited to already just start posting these on my Instagram and like getting these books out in the world. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see similar content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time in my new video. <laughs> that was so bad. Bye.